All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned in the prompt, your job is to watch this video, identify the errors that I have made. So I am purposely doing these two problems incorrectly. So you will identify those errors that I am making and you will actually complete these problems correctly. Once you've identified the errors and they have a completed problem on paper using a black marker so it's easy for me to see, you will then video response, you describing the error and walking me through the steps of your problem as to why you chose the correct way to do it as you did. So let's get to it. So first and foremost, the goal is to find the length of the hypotenuse. So what I noticed by the triangle sum theorem tells me that 180 minus 90 minus 30 means my missing angle is 60 degrees. So thus, I'm concluding we now have a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. It's at this time that I'm going to say that our hypotenuse can be found by taking my shorter leg times the square root of 3. Thus, my conclusion is that the hypotenuse is going to equal 7 times the square root of 3. That is my first problem complete. On to my next. I will find the length of this hypotenuse. Once again, by the triangle sum theorem, I find out that I have a missing, triangle, missing angle of 45 degrees. So I have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. <clears throat> Again, my goal is to still find the hypotenuse. So if I have a 45, 40, 90, um, a 45, 45, 90 triangle, I'm going ahead and find our hypotenuse by doing the following. So I will take a hypotenuse. to equal the first leg times the second leg times the square root of two. I'm going to conclude that the hypotenuse is square root of five times square root of five times the square root of two. And that leaves me since five square root of five times square root of five is five, I will leave with five square root two for the length of my hypotenuse. 